Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I want to show you what happens when the Blue Lab Guardian monitor, which you are looking at, needs to be recalibrated. I remember I did uh, a video before about how to calibrate it. I'll, I'll basically um, link that video in the cards so you'll see it pop up somewhere on the top right on corner of your screen right so you could watch that video to find out how to calibrate it and i was also mentioning that this specific meter is basically blue lab guardian monitor meter it basically starts to blink when it needs recalibration right so as you can see it is blinking right the ph um lead indicators are blinking as you can see that shows that it needs recalibration right so as soon as you start seeing this blinking know that it needs to be recalibrated and remember that the conductivity it comes factory calibrated so you just basically only need to calibrate the the ph probe but when you are calibrating the ph probe they, they recommend that you put both the ph probe and the conductivity probe in the solution and this is the solution the ph7 ph4 blue lab calibration solution right but there's another thing that i also observe as you can see i just turn on the water to, to add some water to this tank because the probes if you look they were basically um they are hanging out of the water right as you can see so don't allow this to happen right don't allow your probes to not being as a solution because this can damage the probe. So that is why I've turned on the water um, to, to add some, some water to the, to the tank so that the probes can be submerged, right? So when, that is, when the probes are um, in the water, I'll basically do the, 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 do the recalibration, right? So I'll be back. So now, as you can see, the the probe um, they are basically in the in the, the nutrient solution now and the water is still running there still going to allow it to pull up some more but let us just go ahead now and and recalibrate this machine so let's go so first we are going to take out the probes right and we are going to we are going to basically wash them off right we are going to wash them off. Alright. Just we are going to wash them off in some water. Right? If you can use distilled water, that would be good. Alright. Then I'm going to put them both probe into pH 7 like this right when I do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to pH cal as you can see this is pH cal I'm going to hold on to it until it says pH cal on the on the on the on the on the screen right up here look Right, as you can see, pH call, I let go. Then you are going to see some zeros. So once it completes four cycles in terms of four zeros, uh, the LED light, seven LED light is blinking, pH seven, then it stops. Then it goes to pH seven, then it blinks one time, and then as you can see, pH seven LED light stops blinking. Right, so at this point, we're going to basically remove the probe from pH seven and put it, put, uh, clean it off I'm trying to do this with handling the camera as well um, wash it off in this water right. put back pH 7 grab pH 4 right.
splash off any excess water. Then I put both probes into pH 4, like this. Now I do this now. I'm going to hold on on pH call button again. Until it says pH call, I let go. Then it starts cycling through the zeros. It's supposed to cycle through 4 zero. As you can see, pH 4 R10 blinking. We are using pH 4, as you can see. Uh -huh. And when you are doing it, ensure that the pH probe, which is this one here, this transparent one, ensuring that it is in contact with the pH solution. Because if it is not in, the contact, in contact with the pH solution, you find that the, the cycle through the zeros will take longer. Um, so as you can see, the two lights, the pH 4, LED light has stopped blinking. So I remove the probes from the bag. Right? Give them a little wash off. And then at this point, um, let me put back this solution right here. At this point now, I'm going to put them back. Um, oops. Oops, that one fell out of my hand. But don't let that happen to you. You just take time, ease them down back into the water. Like that. Right? Right? And as you can see, the LED, the pH 7 pH 4 LED light has stopped blinking. That shows that or confirms that the the, the blue lamp guardian monitor um, has been recalibrated. Right? So you have to just monitor now. Um, usually they, they say it's like about a month time, it will start blinking again. Right? And it can be less than a month also. Um, but you have to just monitor it. So, right, so this is basically a recalibrated Blue Lab Guardian monitor. If you have any questions, any comments, put them in the comments area. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Please give the video a like. And as usual, just go for it and apply these information to your own grow and optimize your grow. Bye bye.